Hey everybody, welcome back to my unprocessed life. Uh, I'm headed home. I've actually been shopping for about two hours now. Um, I got a list of stuff to get from my wife, um, but it wasn't the usual stuff. It wasn't like, okay, go here and get apples and oranges and bread and come home. It was stuff that I had to search for, like vital wheat gluten and sea salt, uh, which I caraway seeds, caraway seeds. Um, the funny thing is, is, is that if I was going to a place like Whole Foods, there, I would have no problem finding this stuff. Um, but thus far, I've had to go to two different stores trying to find the things that I'm looking for. I'm hoping that uh, that Publix will have some of it for what I'm looking for, and if they don't, then I'm hoping that Walmart will. So um, it's going to be a long night. I'll get home probably just in time to give my son a hug good night and then go to sleep. Uh, but that's shopping these days. Uh, so I hope things are well with you. Today went just fine as far as uh, food went. I, um, I had my oatmeal this morning. I uh, learned that I need to up the content of the oatmeal uh, to keep me uh, going through the day and to keep me from eating my lunch before I get to lunch. Uh, I had veggie sandwiches which consisted of rye bread, some mustard, um, cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. And uh, which I find to be a, a fabulous sandwich. Uh, so I had one of those for snack, and then I had two of those for lunch, uh, and I was pretty much out of bread at that point. However, the deli at work actually will just sell me bread straight up uh, at like 18 cents a piece. So I went and got four slices of bread so that I could have an afternoon snack. And I've actually been doing really well. I haven't really even been hungry at all until about now. And I know I've got another hour's worth of shopping ahead of me. So it's uh, a little bit depressing. <laughs> um, I know that, that I have red beans and rice for dinner at home. So I'm going to attempt as best I can not to grab anything to eat here uh, in town. Uh, but I am going to have the red beans and rice when I get home uh, and I'm still looking for uh, I need to get uh, some Frank's hot sauce which they didn't really have the the bottle that I needed at uh, either of the two grocery stores I went to how crazy is that um, avocados and cauliflower prices shot through the roof. I've found a place that I can usually get cauliflower for like a dollar thirty or dollar forty a head, which I think is really reasonable. The same place that I normally get it there, uh, it had gone up to like two dollars and seventy cents a head, which is still cheaper than Walmart, which is three dollars a head, or Whole Foods, which is four dollars a head. Um, but I slid over to Aldi's and I found it for $1.99 a head, which, you know, I still would prefer it to be $1.30, but, um, and the $1.30 heads were actually smaller than your average head, uh, so you're giving up a little bit there, but I felt that it was kind of worth it, you know, for, because it was so much lower. Uh, but at Aldi's, I was able to get just the full size, big cauliflower heads uh, for $2, so I felt like that that worked out pretty well. However, the avocados went through the roof. They're usually like anywhere between 39 and like 69 cents a piece at Aldi's, and today they were 90. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm used to getting like 10 avocados for four bucks, and today I paid three dollars for three avocados. So you can see my my shock. Uh, wasn't able to find the what vital wheat gluten and uh, which is sad for me I I know my wife only wanted it so that she could do um, Add it into some bread uh, We have some pastry flour that has a lot of gluten in it And so when you make bread you want to add some of that in uh, I wanted it to make seton or seitan out of it uh, That's what I like to do it then so at this point it's now more for me than it is for her. I'm sure uh, anyway, and so that's kind of what's going on. I've got more shopping to do. I'm headed to Publix, and uh, then once I get done at Publix, I'll head to Walmart. Um, unless I can get everything I need at Publix, but I'm not holding out hope. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's what's happening in my unprocessed life. Um, 
I hope things are going really well for you. I uh, posted some pictures of my rye sandwich today, my rye bread sandwich today on Instagram. So if you would like to keep up with what I'm what I'm posting there, make sure you check me out at my unprocessed life. Um, oh, it's my unprocessed dot life. That's my Instagram feed. Uh, you can email me on my unprocessed life at gmail.com. Uh, additionally, if you leave comments down below, I'll be happy to respond to those comments. If you want to call and contact me directly, email me, uh, myprocesslife at gmail.com. Uh, and if you want to know when new videos are coming out, you'll have to subscribe. Um, my video schedule is pretty much daily except for weekends, sometimes two a day, sometimes more on the week, uh, and then sometimes on the weekends. So I'm pretty consistently erratic. Uh, also, if you like the videos, make sure you give me some Google love. If you love the videos, make sure you share them. And uh, until next time, uh, you guys have a really great day, and I'll see you soon on My Unprocessed Life.